to everyone. This is Jun San again, the diesel doctor. Today, I will uh, show to you how to check an engine light or mill, malfunction indicator lamp. Uh, this fajero at my back, I used just an hour ago and uh, engine light comes. That's why uh, I um, prepare to check what is the problem because there is engine light and I take the diagnostic scanner for me to be seen, which is MUT3 uh, second edition and today we will see what is the problem of this engine light okay let's go and check the problem I will show you first my uh, the MUT diagnostic scanner and we will check what is the problem of this model come on and let us see uh, what is the problem of this uh, this is a uh, 3.2 diesel engine BID engine and uh, this one is a 2007 model of this Pajero, uh, 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 which is designed for heavy duty application. You see there are two batteries. This is for heavy duty applications like in a severe uh, condition or severe working condition. Okay, come on and let us see uh, what is the problem. We can see in the FDT. I will uh, show you first is my uh, MUT 3 second edition diagnostic uh, laptop this is my MUT 3 uh, uh, interface and it is connected to the diagnostic connector okay so in order to see uh, what is the mill or what is the malfunction indicator lamp we have to go and check from service tool viewer Okay, I click the service tool viewer and after clicking the service tool viewer uh, we will select MPI, DDI, diesel because uh, that is for the uh, powertrain and this is the total specifications of this vehicle General Export, Mitsubishi, B98W and 2007 Pajero Montero uh, B8, B9, 4M41 engine, common rail uh, and turbocharger B, uh, B5 M31 and this is the chassis number so I have collect I have already the bin number and I will just say click yes after clicking yes there are options to come we have the following options problem symptoms actuator test coding self-diagnosis this is what we need because we want to diagnose what is the mill and drive recorder this is the data list and special function if we are making some learnings so we will go now on self-diagnosis because we want to know what is the uh, mini what is the uh, engine light meaning is, uh, there in the dashboard okay now I click there are two which uh, are P0107 baro uh, barometric or map sensor is low and the other one is a U code this U code is permanently here because this is not available not equipped in my vehicle that's why there is no uh, manual transmission only that's why U code for transmission is always appearing because this is a manual transmission this is used only if it is an automatic transmission so we cannot remove this one and only what is the current or the present uh, mill or malfunction indicator lamp is the baro or barometric or map sensor is no okay now the, we will check now what may be the problem and uh, let us see on the actual vehicle what is the uh, condition of the barometric or map sensor maybe it is just it is uh, already uh, broken or maybe something loose connection wiring connections or maybe terminals that's most common are loose connections because of vibration and also because of some there is one host there 
in the map sensor, maybe the host is removed. So we will confirm now. But before we will confirm that, we will go first with the dashboard and see the engine light. Okay, come on and let us see the engine light. Okay. My engine is running. Then we will see the, uh, and confirm the engine light in the dashboard. Okay, I want to show you the engine light. Okay. Engine light is there. ASC off also because it is a mask there oh, that ASC is off and also engine light is coming there. You see the engine light is there. So uh, we will see after checking the barometric pressure or the uh, map sensor what is the problem. We will try to check the map sensor maybe it is just a loose connection or any terminal problems only. Okay, from here, you can see the map sensor is here. So, we will see some wiring where it comes from, from here. Okay, so maybe some loose or maybe here. Or maybe the host, you see the host. If, if this host is uh, removed, from here, it will have the code. Like for example, this also, this is only very simple. And maybe by vibration, it becomes loose. This one, huh? And maybe this one, because of very close to the engine side, maybe this one is uh, loose. So all, uh, in that case, uh, don't uh, um, uh, confirm first that this is uh, map sensor is broken. You just, the first, you have to check are the Wiring, dial, uh, wiring, the connector, terminals, and this host. So in this case, I, uh, I find this one is little loose. And we will confirm if this is the problem. How we will confirm? <coughs> Sorry. We will just erase the DTC and start and off the engine and start the engine again, accelerate. If this will not come, means we solve already the problem. Oh. We are here now, the, we want to erase this now, as we find that is little uh, loose. But we want to confirm if that is really the problem. So I will go to erase DTC, erase DTC like this, and he will ask me if I want to erase. Yeah, I will say yes, I click yes, and no more. DTC. No DTC is found. Okay, what shall we do now? After removing this DTC, we will uh, check in the dashboard if the mill is eliminated already and then we will up and start again and accelerate and if this will not come back again, that is only the problem. What shall we do now after we confirm that uh, we deleted the DTC here? So what shall we do now is we have to confirm in the dashboard if the DTC uh, engine light is removed. After removing, after deleting the uh, wheel or indication lamp, now you can see now here, you can see now that engine light no more after I deleted. So at this point, we confirm that this uh, loose connection is the problem on the uh, barometric or the map sensor. So uh, these are some simple way of using your MUT3. Just like what I experienced, just I, after go so to buy in something in the mall, when I am driving, some uh, engine light is come and I am too much worried. Of course, we do not know what is the problem. In a normal uh, driver, we are always worried if they will see some engine light. So by the use of the diagnostic, we will feel calm after knowing all oh, this is only about the map sensor. And maybe it is a loose connection. And we now we confirm that this is a loose connection because after uh, checking the wiring connections, disappear the uh, engine light. So uh, at that point, uh, friends, please subscribe my video and 
in the next video i promise you i will give you more information about small small troubleshooting on different sensors and actuators this is your uh, diesel doctor yunsan signing out again thank you very much